Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to do a DFS in C++. There are already many articles and videos on how to do DFS, but most of them are in an object-oriented fashion, which is not the best approach in competitive programming. So I'm going to show you a procedural way of doing it, which you can either use in C or C++. So the main thing is the adjacency list, for which I'm going to use an array of vectors. So we have a vector of integer and an array of that. Let's take the size of something like this and an array to keep track of whether the node is visited or not. So let's name that as visited and again the size is something like this. So in the question suppose you're given the number of edges and the nodes connecting those edges. So let's take nodes from 0 to 7 that is only 7 nodes are there for this question. So while n minus minus, you'll be given the nodes which are connecting those edges. And also this is a directed graph. So if you can go from P to Q, you cannot go from P Q to P. You may not be able to go from P Q to P. So C in P Q. So you can go from P to Q in this edge or this edge will be connected by PQ from P to Q. So in the adjacency list of P, we add Q. Quite simple. Now for doing the DFS, we'll have another method, void DFS, because it's not returning anything. However, it does take a value. So K will be our starting point of doing the DFS. So we, we're checking if not visited K, if K is not visited, then we make it visited, visited of K is equal to one. Now, as this is a global variable array, the values are already zero. So we don't need to initialize it. So we're checking if it's not visited, then we make it visited and then we go inside the adjacency list of that and do the same thing. So i is equal to zero, i less than a of k dot size, because a of k is a vector, i plus plus, and again the same thing, if not visited, a of k of i, then dfs of a of k of i so again we'll perform dfs on that and again it will be checked right back again here so after let's do dfs from zero initially so after doing dfs from zero i'll show you the state of the visited array which has nodes still seven in this question in this case so c out <clears throat> i and its state whether it's visited or not that is visited of i a little space so we have five edges and we're making the adjacency list according to those edges and the nodes connecting them and we're doing dfs from zero with this function so Let's try to compile this. Seems okay. Okay. So the five edges, let's take them something like this. Zero to one, zero to two, one to three, and two to four, and zero to three. So zero's state is one, zero is visited because obviously you can go from 0 to 0, 1 is visited because you can go from 0 to 1, 2 is visited you can go 0 to 2, 3 is visited because you can go from 0 to 1, 1 to 3, 4 is visited you can go from 0 to 1, and you can go from 0 to 2, and from 2 to 4, 5 is not visited because there is no way you can go from 0 to 5, and likewise for 6 and for 7, so that means it's working. So suppose in the question you're given that 
you give it you asked that can you go from l to m where l and m are nodes so int l comma m c in l and m so how will you do this you will simply say dfs of l and now if visited of m is equal to 1 see out yes else see out no and let's remove this okay and here we are only doing dfs once so we don't need to reset anything but if you're doing dfs more than once then you need a reset function it simply resets all the visited all the elements in visited to zero so after making the graph after making the adjacency list in this line of lines of codes you'll be given two nodes and you're asked whether you can go from l to m in this tagged graph let's try to compile this okay so you can go from 0 to 1 you can go from 1 to 4 you can go from 4 to 5 you can go from 5 to 6 and you can go from 6 to 2 so these are the five edges now in the question you're asked can you go from 1 to 6 so the answer is yes how you can go from 0 to 1 you can go from 1 to 4 you can go from 4 to 5 and you can go from 5 to 6 so with this you can use you can use this for simple basic stuff like finding out whether there's a circle and whether you can go from one place to another from one node to another